Hey guys, so I received this uh, Crestron beautiful phone and I'm going to set it up. So this is a really beautiful, elegant phone uh, for Microsoft Teams. And on the back side, um, as you can see, there is a Ethernet port, there's a PC port, um, so you don't need to run second wire. Um, and there's a power outlet if you don't have PoE switch. And there is um, the heads, you know, headset jacks and stuff like this, you know, it, it's kind of like an old, a method of connecting phones, uh, but it's, it's for Microsoft Teams. So I'm, what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, plug the power back on the back side of this cable, which is my PoE, and um, right back. So as soon as I put the power cable back in, uh, you see there's a light on the top, um, and you see uh, welcome initializing, and let's see what happens next. A couple of seconds. Let's see how long it's going to take to configure a phone. Um, on the account, your Active Directory account, it's enabled in Office 365. Uh, you add um, the voice license or, sorry, the, um, the cloud PBX or a phone system license. Um, and you probably have domestic calling plan or international domestic and international calling plan um, and assign the phone number. So that's, that part is already done. The, that part literally takes about uh, two to five minutes max. Um, and once that is done, um, all you need to do is use your same Active Directory credentials or Azure AD credentials and just log into this phone. So as soon as this um, the phone is uh, powered on, you see the sign in button. I'm just going to press and sign in. And then let's try to um, give me option to um, sign in. So it, there's, you see that the screen can access your account or sign in from another device. So I'm going to click on sign in from another device. And what you'll do, is it will give me a, a code, right? So uh, what I'm going to do is, um, so I'm going to use that code um, in my browser. So if you look in my browser, so microsoft.com slash device login. Um, all I need to do is type that code, which is uh, B, caps lock B, K, X, K, X, B, K, X, S, L, S, L, a two five six. All right. Hit next. And what happens here? Um, still going. And in a couple of seconds, it just starts signing in. So this is this is um, trying to um, log in for now. And a couple of seconds should be done. Let's see. Da 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 da. Come on. Yep, we're signing you, please wait. So this is a personal device, not a shared device, not like a common area phone. So I'm gonna use personal. So if you do shared device, there is a common area phone, the voicemail button and meetings will be uh, not, you know, you, you can't see that because that's not no use. Um, so right now, this is my personal device. Um, it's logging in right now. And you can see all my calls on the left side. Um, there's a voicemail button here. I can see all the voicemail. I can actually play the voicemail. I don't know. This is all robocalls, so you can you can think of how uh, crazy they are. <laughs> um, and then you see at the bottom, you see the meetings, right? So you can click on meetings. So this meeting is already there. So all I need to do is one touch join, and the meeting is joined. There is no phone number to dial. Um, I haven't, you know no code nothing it's um, as simple as it is it reads your office 365 calendar um, you in, if you have a cisco or a via any other phone you can actually make the, the four digit or seven digit dialing back to those um, your existing pbx uh, what you need is a direct routing configuration with the sbc um, if you need more information please reach out to me but this is it it's as simple as it is calls you can you can, you can make a call this is a call button um, or uh, meetings and all the meetings will be listed, join, and you can see all the organizer and you know you can control the meetings or a voicemail, just play. This simple as it is. And, or if you want to pick up the phone, you can pick up the phone. All right, thank you. Thanks for watching this.